Hey everybody, it's Sean, and this is Just for Parents, your sneak peek into what your students will be talking about this week during small groups. I'm at my house, and we're in full-blown Christmas mode. They're watching Elf back there. Kids are making chocolate-covered peanut butter cracker cookie sandwich things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I don't either. <laughs> no one knows. So anyways, this week we're talking about managing our expectations when it comes to life and especially the holidays. It's like Christmas has this magical thing where maybe you've been fighting and arguing with your kids and your family all year long. But when it comes to Christmas, you have this expectation that you're all going to be sitting in front of a fireplace and you're all going to get along and sing carols together. But we all know that unmet expectations only leads to disappointment. I can remember when me and my wife were expecting our first child. We are living in this small house uh, in a not so great neighborhood up in Memphis. We had the nursery completely done. We couldn't wait to bring our baby home to their brand new room. But because of circumstances outside of our control, we basically had to move in less than 24 hours. So there was this little bit of a disappointment because this wasn't how it was supposed to happen. The baby was supposed to be born and we're supposed to bring him into this new nursery that we had planned for him and it just didn't work out that way. And because it's Christmas, we'll be talking about Mary and Joseph and I'm sure that they had some expectations about what giving birth to the Messiah would look like, but Mary and Joseph found themselves having to go to Bethlehem because the government told them to and she was nine months pregnant and then there was like no room for them and then she was like giving birth on the road and I, I'm just sure that it wasn't what they were expecting. But the truth is, is that whenever we dive into the Bible, what we find is that we're not really promised any sort of specific type of life. Like life isn't going to look like this or that. What we are promised though is that God is with us and we have that promise all because of that first moment when God came in the flesh as a baby ultimately to save us from our sins so that we could be in him day in and day out. So this week help your student find a way to see how God is with them despite what the circumstances are in life. So I hope to see you and your student this Wednesday night at 5.30 to 7 p.m. See you next time. Peace.